Hey everybody, Rick over at Building Controls Group. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, been a busy summer and busy fall, uh, so we haven't done too many tech tip videos, but we're getting back to it here, coming into winter. Have a little more time to get some of these videos out and a couple more things to show you guys. Uh, today's video is going to be for you Johnson guys out there. Uh, we're going to be going over to the map gateway. So uh, this one's going to cover basically how to do a full factory reset on this gateway. Uh, say you forgot your IP address, uh, username or password, uh, we're gonna talk you through how to get this thing reset and back up and running. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first thing we need to do is get this guy powered up. And to do that, I'm gonna be using my uh, F4CGE9090. We'll be plugging it right into the SA bus here. And you can use a PCG or a, a CVM. It doesn't matter as long as you've got that jack and your 15 volts, you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and move you guys down here. And we're going to wait for this thing to boot up. So in order to just successfully do this uh, reset, you actually have to wait for this full light to clear, which can take a little bit of time as this thing boots up. Um, you don't have to connect it to your Wi-Fi or anything like that. So basically, we're just going to wait for this thing to get past us. And All right, so now we're at a point where up and running, you, like I said, you don't have to connect this to your Wi-Fi. Well, you probably can't if you're in this position, but so basically, whether you have a map portable or a map stationary, the back cover is going to come off. Mine's just a rubber cover. The stationary has a plastic cover, and you're going to see a reset hole. What we're going to do is take a paper clip, or in my case, a small screwdriver, and we're going to put that in that hole. Now I'm going to flip this back over because there's we're going to be at the we're at the watch for this fault light. So we're going to push and hold this down for six seconds. And what we're waiting for is that fault light. So it flashes slow like that. And we're going to wait for it to flash fast like that. Let off the button and push it down one more time. So it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now, but it's actually the factory reset process has actually begun. Now this is going to take a couple minutes. And in the meantime, we can just go ahead and set this back down and let it do its thing. See, now the fault light came on. That's what we were waiting for. So at this point, it's going to begin its factory reset. And like I said, this can actually take, you know, almost up to five minutes for this to complete this process. So uh, this is a good time to go get something to drink or uh, grab a sandwich or something. All right, so it looks like it's cleared. Let's go ahead and see if I can see this on my Wi-Fi. And during that, I'm actually going to have to make you guys a little bit smaller, or make myself a little bit smaller here. So that is my map. And if you ever do have a question as to how to identify your map, this map for these last six characters is actually going to be your the six digits of your MAC address. So flipping this back over here. As you can actually see, those characters down here. So we know that's my map we're connecting to. So let's go ahead and connect up. Now 
Now, it is going to ask us for a password, and we're going to actually need the, if you've got your card, the password will be on your card. If you don't, I'm going to show you guys what to do here. So, you see these last characters right here on the Ethernet, which is the bottom MAC address here? These last characters, the in my case 7E7648, is actually going to be in your password. And I'll show you what that what I mean by that because we're going to open up Notepad here. Regardless of what map you have, the password is always going to start with map with a dash. Now in my case, like I said, my Mac is 7E7648. That's going to be my password. And it's always identified by the last six on the bottom on the Ethernet Mac, which is the one with the E on it. So let's go ahead and type that in my Wi-Fi. Now that's what we're waiting for is no inner security. If you have a Windows 10, Windows laptop, or Windows 11, it just sometimes can be a little painfully slow. But uh, now we are at a point where we can actually get this connect, get connected up to your map and get this thing reset to defaults here. So for those of you who don't know the default IP, it's always 192.168.142.1. And you're going to get this connection thing, which is, you know, you can just get past it real quick. No big deal. All right. So, again, remember that MAC address we got in the back, how we figure out our password. Uh, and, again, I can talk, take you over this one more time. The default password on your map is always going to start with a map with a capital M with a dash in it. And, again, going back to the bottom MAC address on my map, in this case, it is 70... 7648 in my on my uh, map gateway. Yours will always be different. This this map or this address down here is unique to every map. So we're gonna go ahead and type this in to our browser. Map seven e seven six four eight. Now, this will take you through the reset process. So basically, you got to go and agree to all this stuff again. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and type in a new password. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in a temporary password right now. Now this will disconnect you from the Wi-Fi, so you'll see this go blank. And then if it doesn't disconnect you, you can go ahead and do disconnect on here. And we're gonna go ahead and reconnect. Now this again will take a while because it's looking for an old password that doesn't work anymore. So we're going to go ahead and type in that new password I just put in. All right, so we've connected. So we can go ahead and go back to the gateway login again.
general sense looking at the ground. And there we are. This controller is back up and running. Or this gateway is back up and running. So uh, don't forget about this. You have to go to your backnet settings and make sure you change your backnet routing to enabled so you can actually program your controllers with CCT. I don't know why they disable this by default, but if you don't enable this, you won't be able to connect your devices with CCT. So we're going to go ahead and hit save there. And basically, that's it. Your map is back up and running. Uh, if you have, uh, basically, if you had an IP issue or forgot your username and password, this is how you get it fixed. So thanks for watching.